Welcome to another episode of Conscious Clear Self Sessions. I am Damon Flagg, your host and founder, and I hope you all are having a productive day. I am really excited about today's episode. Um, I first want to give a shout out to Self Motivate. And today's episode will be a video that you can listen to every day when you are in the need of that extra boost to get you through whatever you're going through. Rather, something to keep you company and something that will give you comfort during your downtime. Now, since this is something you should listen to when you wake up, I decided to do it in my bedroom for a change of scenery. Are you ready? Let's get started. Now, if you, ta- if you can take it, you can make it. The most powerful tool in your life is your body, is your mind. That's why your thoughts fight you and your mind. It's time for us to develop a new way of thinking, a new perspective on life and how we treat people, a new way of looking at your situations that you are facing. Do this and there will be opportunities. There will be miracles. There will be some struggles. There will be some tests. But even the struggles and the tests that you go through are an opportunity for you to show off what you have learned and apply it. But this can only happen if your mind can handle the change. There's some things that you need not to carry with you. That includes anything that's not inflexible, anything that is not ready, anything that is backwards, everything that is negative, and everything that is condescending, and everything that is holding you back. Start refusing to carry this baggage with you. Now, as soon as you stop looking for answers in other people and click the heels down the yellow brick road, you could have been where you wanted to be a long time ago. If you can get your mind right now, no weapon formed against you will prosper. I think among the things that stops us from acting is what it is, is that we want is fear of failure. And if you've already failed at something, you don't want to fail at it again. The pain of that, the disappointment. Many of us don't act because we want other people's opinion or approval. We want others to like us and to accept us. We are settling for less than we actually deserve. Of course, we don't feel good about it, but we somehow make it work in our favor, in our minds. We will come up with some excuse to make it all right. Most people feel like they are a king and queen in the area of their comfort zone. They only want to do things that they know how to do well. So there are many reasons why we don't act. There are other things that affect us, which includes not wanting to take personal responsibility. We want someone else to do it, and this is not possible. And when you go through life like that, something in you dies. You need to start asking yourself some questions. What do I really, really, truly want? Don't wait around for things to be just right. Don't wait for things to be perfect. Don't wait for the ideal situation. It will never be ideal. Today, this opportunity that you have may not be here next year or the year after that. This is the only moment you have. So listen to me. When you decide to take life on, and let me give you this big warning, it can be painful. It will be uncomfortable. But that is where the growth in you comes in at. Never be satisfied with yourself. Always know that as you put the effort and time on you, who knows the limits you could reach and transform your life into whatever it is that you want. Now, many people will leave the universe without a trace. No one would know that they were here. So what will you leave behind? What would be different? Listen to that little voice inside you and stop trying to make everything logical as there are some things in life that defies logic. See, there is some good out there for you from the universe that has your name on it and nobody can take your good. It has your name on it. They can't take your stuff. It's your stuff. 
So when you know that whatever you are seeking is also seeking you. You don't worry. You don't run scared. Don't ever think somebody is going to take it from you. You have to say yes, yes to your dreams. Yes to you. Yes, you can make it. You don't need anyone to approve your dreams. If they can't see it, it's because it wasn't given to them. It was given to you. So this is what I can finally understand. And that is you are attracted to greatness. For which greatness is in all of you. But it's easier to watch greatness. It's easier to go see greatness than it is to put in the time, to put in the energy, to put in the discipline, um, to sacrifice. It's easier. So that's why most people are average. Because they've been doing the same thing. They're at the same job. They're experiencing the same things in their life for which nothing has changed. Everything about you is great. But some of you have honestly made a decision to be average. Average in school, average at work. Everything that is done is average. And it's not because it's average, but because you made a decision. You made a choice to be average. Why? The people around you are average, maybe. Or maybe you grew up in an average environment. Or maybe you grew up in an average school or worked for an average company. So you have decided to go against who you are. So know this, that no one will feel sorry for you. Only you do. This is the type of mindset when people aren't successful at life, they sit there and they feel sorry for themselves. And they want all this sympathy from everybody else. But not one to go out there to make things happen for themselves. And that is because this is not for everyone. This is not for the faint at heart. This is for people who have goals, dreams they want to achieve. Everyone seems to think that this world owes them something or somebody owes them something, which in reality, somebody probably does. (laughs) Keisha, where's my $50? You worried about that little money? It wasn't little when I gave it to you. Where's my money? (laughs) But seriously, nobody owes you anything. If you want something, go out there and get it. Go out there and take it. That's all there is to it. You could be great if you just showed up. Get in the game. Stop procrastinating and playing. You deserve to see what your life will look like if you gave 150%. If you want to do something with your life, you have to run to your destiny. Not walk, not crawl, not skip, but run. And if you don't want it, then get out of my way. (laughs) Now, in closing, there is a choice that we all have to give up or keep going. I want to ask you, what are you going to believe? Are you going to believe in yourself or are you going to believe everybody else's judgment on you? Like, I want your dreams to be so clear, so vivid, right? So when you wake up in the morning, all you have to do is step into your dreams. Now, the harder you work, the harder it is for you to surrender. And that is in every aspect of your life. So start acting like this is your last day on this earth, as you deserve to see what your life would look like if you gave 150%. Thank you for joining another episode of Conscious Clear Sofa Sessions. And if you found any value in this video, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to visit us on social media and check out the list of services that we offer. I want to say that I am so blessed to be in your presence, and I will see you on our next episode. Thank you.